of FTPERS a Euro electronic funds transfer at point of sale A Euro is an electronic payment system involving electronic funds transfers based on the use of payment cards, such as debit or credit cards, at payment terminals located at points of sale. In Australia and New Zealand it is also the brand name of a specific system used for such payments. The Australian and New Zealand systems are country-specific and do not interconnect. FTPAS technology originated in the United States in 1981 and was quickly adopted by other countries. Debit and credit cards are embossed plastic cards complying with ISO IEC 7810 ID1 standard. The cards have an embossed bank card number conforming with the ISO IEC 7812 numbering standard. History FTPAS technology originated in the United States in 1981 and was rolled out in 1982. Initially, a number of nationwide systems were set up, such as Interlink, which were limited to participating correspondent banking relationships, not being linked to each other. Consumers and merchants were slow to accept it, and there was minimal marketing. As a result, growth and market penetration of FTPAS was minimal up to the turn of the century. Since 2002 the use of FTPAS has grown significantly, and it has become the standard payment method, displacing the use of cash. Subsequently, networks facilitating the process of money transfer and payment settlement between the consumer and the merchant grew from a small number of nationwide systems to the majority of payment processing transactions. For FTPAS, US-based systems allow the use of debit cards or credit cards. In a short time, other countries adopted the FTPAS technology, but these systems too were limited to the national borders. Each country adopted various interbank cooperative models. In New Zealand, Bank of New Zealand started issuing FTPAS debit cards in 1985 with the first merchant terminals being installed in petrol stations. In Australia, the major Australian banks started issuing debit or FTPAS cards starting in 1986 and merchants started installing FTPAS terminals at the same time. Debit cards issued by all banks could be used at all FTPAS terminals nationally, but debit cards issued in other countries could not. Prior to 1986, the Australian banks organised a widespread uniform credit card, called Bank Card, which had been in existence since 1974. There was a dispute between the banks whether bank cards should be permitted into the proposed FTPAS system. At that time several banks were actively promoting MasterCard and Visa credit cards. Store cards and proprietary cards were shut out of the new system. In recent years, MasterCard and Visa have introduced a debit card which is widely accepted internationally. International transactions are generally in the local currency, requiring a currency exchange by the card company to the currency of the primary account. Other charges may also apply. Australia In Australia, debit and credit cards are the most common non-cash payment methods at a euro or a points of sale a euro or via ATMs. Not all merchants provide FTPAS facilities, but those who wish to accept FTPAS payments must enter an agreement with one of the seven merchant service providers which rent an FTPAS terminal to the merchant. The FTPAS system in Australia is managed by FTPAS Payments Australia Limited, which also sets the FTPAS interchange fee. For credit cards to be accepted by a merchant a separate agreement must be entered into with each credit card company, each of which has its own flexible merchant fee rate. The clearing arrangements for FTPAS are regulated by Australian Payments Clearing Association. The system for ATM and FTPAS interchanges is called Consumer Electronic Clearing System also called CS3. CECS required authorizations from the Australian Competition and Consumer Commission, which was obtained in 2001 and reaffirmed in 2009. ATM and FTPAS clearances are the made under individual bilateral arrangements between the institutions involved. Equals debit cards equals Australian financial institutions provide their customers a plastic card, which can be used as a debit card or as an ATM card, and sometimes as a credit card. The card merely provides the means by which a customer's linked bank or other accounts can be accessed using an FTPAS terminal or ATM. These cards can also be used on some vending machines and other automatic payment mechanisms, such as ticket vending machines. 
Australian debit cards cannot be used for online and telephone banking transactions, unless they are also a credit card. Each Australian bank has given a different name to its debit cards, such as, Commonwealth Bank of Australia, Kiwi Card, Westpac Banking Corporation, HandyCard, National Australia Bank, FlexiCard, ANZ Bank, Access Card, Bendigo Bank, Cash Card, ING Direct Australia, Orange Every Day. Some banks offer alternative debit card facilities to their customers using the Visa or MasterCard clearance system. For example, St George Bank offers a Visa debit card, as does the National Australia Bank. The main difference with regular debit cards is that these cards can be used outside Australia where the respective credit card is accepted. Those merchants that enter the IFTPAS payment system must accept debit cards issued by any Australian bank, and some also accept various credit cards and other cards. Some merchants set minimum transaction amounts for IFTPAS transactions, which can be different for debit and credit card transactions. Some merchants impose a surcharge on the use of IFTPAS. These can vary between merchants and on the type of card being used, and generally are not imposed on debit card transactions and widely not on MasterCard and a Visa credit card transactions. A feature of a debit card is that an IFTPAS transaction will only be accepted if there is an available credit balance in the bank check or savings account linked to the card. Australian debit cards normally cannot be used outside Australia. They can only be used outside Australia if they carry the MasterCard Series or Visa Plus or other similar logos in which case the non-Australian transaction will be processed through those transaction systems. Similarly, non-Australian debit and credit cards can only be used at Australian IFTPAS terminals or ATMs if they have these logos or the MasterCard or Visa logos. Diners Club and or American Express cards will be accepted only if the merchant has an agreement with those card companies. The Discover card is accepted in Australia as a Diners Club card, 1. In addition, credit card companies issue prepaid cards which act like generic gift cards, which are anonymous and not linked to any bank accounts. These cards are accepted by merchants who accept credit cards and are processed through the IFTPAS terminal in the same way as credit cards. Equals cash out equals, a number of merchants permit customers using a debit card to withdraw cash as part of the IFTPAS transaction. In Australia, this facility is known as cash out. For the merchant, cash out is a way of reducing their net cash takings, saving on banking of cash. There is no additional cost to the merchant in providing cash out because banks charge a merchant a debit card transaction fee per IFTPAS transaction, and not on the transaction value. Cash out is a facility provided by the merchant, and not the bank, so the merchant can limit or vary how much cash can be withdrawn at a time, or suspend the facility at any time. When available, Cash out is convenient for the customer, who can bypass having to visit a bank branch or ATM. Cash out is also cheaper for the customer, since only one bank transaction is involved. For people in some remote areas, cash out may be the only way they can withdraw cash from their personal accounts. However, most merchants who provide the facility set a relatively low limit on cash out, generally $50, and some also charge for the service. Some merchants in Australia only allow cash out with the purchase of goods. Other merchants allow cash out whether or not customers buy any goods. Cash out is not available in association with credit card sales because on credit card transactions the merchant is charged a percentage commission based on the transaction value, and also because cash withdrawals are treated differently from purchase transactions by the credit card company. Equals cardholder verification equals IFTPAS transactions involving a debit, credit or prepaid card can be authenticated in a number of ways. The oldest system requires the printing and signing of a receipt, with the merchant verifying the signature on the receipt against the signature on the card. It is not very common in Australia for a merchant to require a cardholder to provide photo identification. More recently, Authentication was by a personal identification number that was entered into a pin pad at the terminal and transmitted to the bank for verification. However, as of May 2011 financial institutions are in the process of rolling out smart cards with integrated circuits that will enable verification of the pin at the IFTPAS terminal. 
pin management is governed by international standard ISO 9564. At ATMs, only pin verification is available, and all new credit cards are now issued with pins regardless of whether or not they have a chip. In 2014, banks have indicated that the option for a customer to sign receipts is to be phased out, and that only pin authentication is to be available. For some merchants, Transactions below a specific threshold value can be approved without authentication. As a further security measure, if a user enters an incorrect PIN three times, the card may be locked out of a FTPUS and require reactivation over the phone or at a bank branch. In the case of an ATM, the card will not be returned, and the cardholder will need to visit the branch to retrieve the card, or request a new card to be issued. All debit cards now have a magnetic stripe on which is encoded the card's service codes, consisting of three-digit values. These codes are used to convey instructions to merchant terminals on how a card should be processed. The first digit indicates if a card can be used internationally or is valid for domestic use only. It is also used to signal if the card is chip-enabled. The second digit indicates if the transaction must be sent online for authorization always or if transactions that are below floor limit can take place without authorization. The third digit is used to indicate the preferred card verification method and the environment where the card can be used. Merchant terminals are required to recognize and act on service codes or send all transactions for online authorization. Equals contactless smart card equals, in late 2000s, MasterCard and Visa introduced contactless smart debit cards under the brand names MasterCard PayPass and Visa PayWave. These payments are made using electronic payment networks separate from the regular UFTPAS payment networks, and is an alternative to the previous swipe or chip systems. These networks are operated by MasterCard and Visa, and not by the banks as is the UFTPAS network, through UFTPAS Payments Australia Limited. These cards are based on EMV technology and contain a RFID chip and antenna loop embedded in the plastic of the card. To pay using this system, a customer passes the card within 4 cm of a reader at a merchant checkout. Using this method, for transactions under $100, the customer does not need to authenticate his or her identity by PIN entry or signature, as on a regular UFTPAS machine. For transactions over $100, PIN verification is required. The facility is only available for cards branded with the MasterCard PayPass or Visa PayWave logos, indicating that they have the system permitted embedded chip. ANZ has launched ATM solution based on Visa PayWave in 2015, where the consumer tap the card on a reader at the ATM and insert a PIN to finalize the cash withdrawals, and not all merchants offer the facility. Bank debit cards and other credit cards do not currently offer a contactless payment facility. ePal is developing a contactless payment system for debit cards based on EMV technology as well as an extension of debit cards for use for online transactions, and a mobile payment system. Equals History Equals The name and logo for Aftpus in Australia were originally owned by the National Australia Bank and were trademarks from 1986 until 1991. The major Australian banks started issuing debit or FTPIS cards starting in 1986 and merchants started installing FTPIS terminals at the same time. In April 2009, a company, a Euro OE FTPIS Payments Australia LTDA Euro was formed to manage and promote the FTPIS system in Australia. EPAL regulation commenced in January 2011. The initial members of FTPIS Payments Australia Limited were Australia and New Zealand Banking Group, Australian Settlements Limited, Bank of Queensland, Bendigo and Adelaide Bank, Cash Card, Citigroup, Commonwealth Bank of Australia, Coles Group, Cuskill, and U, National Australia Bank, Suncorp Meatway, Westpac Banking Corporation, Woolworths Limited, Blue Fed Finocent. In 2006 Commonwealth Bank and MasterCard ran a six-month trial of the contactless smart card system PayPass in Sydney and Wollongong, supplementing the traditional left per swipe or chip system. The system was rolled out across Australia in 2009. Other systems being rolled out are Westpac Bank's MasterCard PayPass and Visa PayWave branded cards. In Australia, 
store cards have been excluded from participation in the IFTPS and ATM systems. Consequently, several larger store accounts have entered into co-branding arrangements with credit card networks for the store-based accounts to be widely accepted. This was the case with Coles which co-branded with MasterCard, and David Jones which co-branded with American Express. Woolworths organized its credit card called Everyday Rewards which initially was partnered with credit provider HSBC Bank, but will change on October 26, 2014 to Macquarie Bank. Equals usage equals, as of December 2010, there were over 707,000 IFTPAS terminals in Australia and over 28,000 ATMs. Of the terminals, over 60,000 offered cash withdrawals. In 2010, 183 million transactions, worth 12 billion Australian dollars, were made using Australian IFTPAS terminals per month. In 2011, these figures increased to 750,000 terminals, with 325,000 individual businesses, processing over 2 billion transactions with combined value of approximately $131 billion for the year. Equals network equals, the EFT network in Australia is made up of seven proprietary networks in which peers have interchange agreements, making an effective single network. A merchant who wishes to accept IFTPAS payments must enter an agreement with one of the seven merchant service providers, which rent the terminal to the merchant. All the merchant's IFTPAS transactions are processed through one of these gateways. Some of these peers are, Australia and New Zealand Banking Group, Commonwealth Bank of Australia, National Australia Bank, Westpac Banking Corporation, Cuskill, FDI, other, other organisations may have peering agreements with the one or more of the central peers. The network uses the American Samoa, 2805 protocol. New Zealand. IFTPAS is highly popular in New Zealand. The system is operated by two providers, Pimark Limited which processes 75% of all electronic transactions in New Zealand, and IFTPAS NZ. Although the term IFTPAS is popularly used to describe the system, IFTPAS is a trademark of IFTPAS NZ the smaller of the two providers. Both providers run an interconnected financial network that allows the processing of not only of debit cards at point-of-sale terminals but also credit cards and charge cards. Equals history equals. The Bank of New Zealand introduced IFTPAS to New Zealand in 1985 through a pilot scheme with petrol stations. In 1989 the system was officially launched and two providers owned by the major banks now run the system. The largest of the two providers, Pimark Limited is owned equally by ASB Bank, Westpac, Bank of New Zealand and ANZ Bank New Zealand. The second is operated by IFTPAS NZ which is fully owned by Verifone Systems, following its sale by ANZ New Zealand in December 2012. During July 2006 the 5 billionth IFTPAS payment was processed, and at the start of 2012 the 10 billionth transaction was processed. Equals usage equals IFTPAS is highly popular in New Zealand, and being used for about 60% of all retail transactions. In 2009, there were 200 IFTPAS transactions per person. Pimark process over 900 million transactions yearly. More than 75,000 merchants and over 110,000 IFTPAS terminals are connected to Pimark. See also, Interac, Maestro, Visa Debit. References External links, IFTPAS official website.